Question 4 for week 2 in statistics and probability. Finding the mean, variance, and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution. With learning competencies, illustrate the mean and variance of a discrete random variable and calculates the mean and the variance of a discrete random variable. The mean and the standard deviation are used to describe a frequency distribution. Hence, they can be used to describe probability distribution. Mean is defined as the expected value or it is the weighted average of all possible values of the random variables and is denoted by the symbol mu which means mean and the formula in finding for the mean is the summation of the product of x and the probability of x. Variance is a measure of spread or dispersion it measures the variation of the values of a random variable from the mean and this is denoted by omega squared which means variance and the formula in finding for the variance is the product of the square of the difference of x and mean and the probability of x and the square root omega is called the standard deviation that is, variance is equal to, or the square root of variance is equal to the standard deviation. Or standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we have here the steps in finding for the mean. First step, multiply the random variable by its probability. Second step, to find the mean, add all the products obtained in step 1 and steps in finding for the variance subtract the computed mean from each value of the random variable that is x minus mean then square the value obtained in step 3 that is the square of the difference of x and the mean then multiply the value obtained in step 4 by the given probability that is by multiplying the difference of x and mean squared times the probability of x. Then the last step, to find for the variance, add all the products obtained in step 5. And here is the step in finding for the standard deviation. To find the standard deviation, get the square root of the value obtained in step 6. So for example, Students of senior high school grade 11 carpentry were asked to estimate the length in inches of a table. The errors in the estimated values were recorded and tabulated as follows. So we have here the errors 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inches and the probabilities are 0 0.25, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.15 and 0 0.2. So what we're going to do now is find the mean error of this probability distribution and determine the variance and the standard deviation. So from the table, we're going to solve first for the mean. So to find for the mean, we're going to multiply or get the product of x and the probability of x, where in x is the error. So this is error 1 is 3 inches times the probability is 0 0.25 plus 4 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times 0 0.3 plus error 6 inches times the probability which is 0 0.15 plus 7 times 0 0.2 we are in 3 times 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.75 and 4, point, 4 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.4 and 5 times 0 0.3 is equal to 1.5 and 6 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.9 and 7 times 0 0.2 is equal to 1.4 so to find for the mean we're going to get the summation of all of this so this is equal to 4.95 
So therefore, the mean is 4.95. And to find for the variance, we're going to get the product of the difference of x and the mean, then square that, then multiply to the probability of x. So that is, we have for the first column is the value of x, that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then subtract that to the mean, which is 4.95. Then after that, we're going to square the difference and multiply to the probability, which is 0 0.25, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.15, and 0 0.2. So we have 3 less 4.95, that is equal to negative 1.95. Then square it, so we have 3.8025 times 0 0.25. So 4 less 4.95 is equal to negative 0 0.95. Then square that, that is equal to 0 0.9025 times 0 0.1. Then 5 less 4.95, that is 0 0.05. Then square that is 0 0.0025 times 0 0.03. Then 6 less 4.95, that is 1.05, square that, that is equal to 1.10025 times 0 0.15. Then 7 less 4.95, that is equal to 2.05, then square that, that is equal to 4.2025 times 0 0.2. Then after that, multiply. So 3.8025 times 0 0.25, that is equal to 0 0.95625. And 0 0.9025 times 0 0.1, that is 0 0.9025. Then 0 0.0025 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.0075. And 1.10025 times 0 0.15, that is equal to 0 0.1653.75. And 4.2025 times 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.8405. So to find for the variance, we're going now to get the sum of all of this. So the summation now is equal to 2.0475, which is the value of the variance. And to find for the standard deviation, get the square root of the value of the variance, which is 2.0475. And the square root of 2.0475 is approximately 1.43. So therefore, the standard deviation is 1.43. So we're going to choose only or write only two digit for the decimal number. Another way in solving for the or finding the mean, variance, and standard deviation is by making a table. So here we're going to Right, the mean, which is multiplying x and the probability of x, wherein x is 3 and the probability of x is 0 0.25, so that's equal to 0 0.75. And 4 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.4. Then 5 times 0 0.3 is equal to 1.5. Then 6 times 0 0.15 is equal to 0 0.9. And 7 times 0 0.2 is equal to 1.4. So again, to find for the mean, get the summation of the third column. So that's equal to 4.95. So therefore, the value of the mean is 4.95. In the fourth column, we're going now to subtract the value of x and the value of the mean. That is 3 minus the value of the mean, which is 4.95, that's equal to negative 1.95. Value of x is 4, less mean, 4.95, that is equal to negative 0 0.95. And 5 less 4.95, that is equal to 0 0.05. And 6 less mean, which is 4.95, that's equal to 1.05. And 7 less 4.95, that's equal to 2.05. So after subtracting, we're going now to square the difference. And that is negative 1.95 squared is equal to 3.8025. And negative 0 0.95 squared is equal to 0 0.9025. 0 0.05 squared is equal to 0 0.0025. And 1.05 squared is equal to 1.1025. 2.05 squared 
is equal to 4.2025. So after that, to find for the variance, we're going now to multiply this to the probability of x. That is 3.8025 times the probability of x, x which is 0 0.25. That's equal to 0 0.95625. And 0 0.9025 times 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.09025. 0 0.0025 times 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.00075. And 1.1025 times 0 0.15 is equal to 0 0.165375. And 4.2025 times 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.8405. So to find for the variance, get the summation of this. So we have now 2.0475. So therefore, the variance is 2.0475. And to find for the standard deviation, get the square root of the value of the variance. So that is 2.0475. And the square root of 2.075 is equal to 1.43. So therefore, the mean is 4.95, the variance is 2.0475, and standard deviation is 1.43, which is, is the same answer for the first method that we used while ago. Okay, so therefore, to solve for the mean and median, you can use the long method or you can use also this table. Another example, based on record from Rescue 922, the rescue team of LGU Kawayan, the number of daily accidents around the city is manifested in the following probability distribution. That is, we have the number of accidents daily, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the probability is 0 0.15, 0 0.35, 0 0.30, 0 0.10, and 0 0.10. Using the table, so to find for the mean, so first we're going to multiply the value of x and the probability. That is 0 times 0 0.15 is 0. 1 times 0 0.35 is 0 0.35. 2 times 0 0.30 is 0 0.60. And 3 times 0 0.10 is equal to 0 0.30. And 4 times 0 0.10 is 0 0.40. So to find for the mean, add or get the summation, so that's 1.65. So therefore, the mean is 1.65. So we're going now to subtract the mean to the number of accidents or the value of x. That is 0 less 1.65 is negative 1.65. And 1 less 0 0.35 is equal to negative 0 0.65. And 2 less 0 0.60 is equal to... 2, I 2 less 1.65 is equal to 0 0.35. And 3 times 1.65 is equal to 1.35. And 4 less 1.65 is equal to 2.35. Then square the difference of the value of x and the mean. That is negative 1.65 squared is equal to 2.7225. And negative 0 0.65 squared is equal to 0 0.4225. And 0 0.35 squared is equal to 0 0.1225. And 1.35 squared is equal to 1.8225. And 2.35 squared is equal to 5.5225. Then after that, multiply to the probability of x, so that's 2.7225, times 0 0.15 is equal to 0 0.4084. times 0 0.35 is equal to 0 0.1479 and 0 0.1225 times 0 0.30 is equal to 0 0.0368 1.8225 times 0 0.10 is equal to 0 0.1823 and 5.5225 times 0 0.10 is equal to 0.5523 so again to find for the variance get the sum so the summation is 1.33. So therefore, the variance is 1.33. So to find for the standard deviation, we're going now to get the square root of the variance. Well, in this variance 
and the square root of that is approximately 1.15. So the standard deviation is 1.15. So for your activity, you're going to solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Or problem number one, that is the annually as MCT Kauai opens job opportunities, the probability of hiring X additional employees among applicants is shown in the table. And for number two, the data shows the company's probability of earning projected profit to one year. So for the average projected profit and the standard deviated. So you're going to complete the table and solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. For number three, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation by completing the table below. So that's all. So again, let me share this quotation according to Ken Pirot. Keep trying. Failures increase the probability of success. Again, to protect yourself and others from COVID-19, please stay at home. So keep safe, everyone. Again, this is Teacher Riza saying thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thank you.